Okay, here we go. tuning into this week's special edition of Real Talk. As you can tell, we are not in the studio. We are in my favorite place in the whole wide world, New York City. I'm so delighted to be here. And we're here because, as you might know, it's conference season for Life Team, meaning we're going to a bunch of different student build conferences. We have camps going on. We have so much going on this summer. And so I'm heading to Student Build NYC this weekend, and I'm very excited about it. So with all that in mind, today I want to talk to you about what it's like going home from an event like a student build conference. This is not just about changing behavior. This is about continuing to grow intentionally in the most important relationship of your life. So today I want to talk about a couple things we can do when we go home from a retreat like a Steubenville conference. Number one, I want to encourage you to not be surprised when you are tempted. You are still going to be facing the same trials and temptations that you were facing beforehand. Those things that you said on retreat that you would walk away from for good, those are still waiting for you when you return. So don't be surprised. However, protect yourself and anticipate those temptations by surrounding yourself with people who will hold you accountable in avoiding sin and in seeking Jesus and build a firm foundation for yourself in daily prayer and in the sacraments. Allow Jesus, in living in relationship with him through prayer and the sacraments, allow him to give you the strength you need to overcome those temptations. Number two, write down what God has done in your life. Write down the things that he did on that weekend. Write down the convictions you have. Write down the gifts that he's given you so that in the future, when you're challenged, when you're tempted to doubt what he's done in your life, you can look back at what he did on that weekend or what he did during that week of camp and you can be assured that he was moving, he was working, he was affecting you and your life. He is a living God and he lives in relationship with us. And so it's important that we remember the things that he's done. It's helpful to remember those things by writing them down so we can reference them later on. Number three, share the glory of what God has done in your life with the people around you. I kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but it is so important that the experience that we've had, we don't keep to ourselves. A living relationship with Christ is a profound gift and it brings us so much joy, so much peace and true authentic happiness. And if we truly love the people that we are surrounded by, if we truly love the people that we encounter in our day-to-day -day lives, we will not hold that gift back from them. We will share the glory of what God has done. We live in a world that is desperate for the healing love of Christ. We live in a world that desperately desires the good news of the gospel. And if we are recipients of that, we have the duty to turn around and share that with the world that is so desperate for it. This is authentic love. This is what we've received. And we are called then to share that with the world. What a gift. What a joy. All right. So those are some practical things we can keep in mind as we move forward from a student build conference in a living relationship with Christ. Yes, that affects our behavior, but it is not just a behavior change. It is a living relationship with our Lord and Savior. Man, that's bananas. Thank you for watching this episode of Real Talk. If you have any other thoughts, comments, please comment below. I would love to meet you there, chat with you. Very delightful things happening. And I can't wait to see any of y'all who will be at Studentville NYC. Very excited to be there. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all next week right here on Real Talk. I'm a wild woman. I'm like so sweaty. I can't even see. I can't really, so I've been setting it up and taking it into the shade to rewatch it. <laughs>